we got one of these larger units. This is a 50 FC 20 tonner looking for a short on. So this unit here has two of the large EcoBlue axle fan motors. Those will suck the butt out of the cat. So, so anytime any of the 24 volt chain was open, the short would go away. So we just kind of went through here and down in the bottom here, very rare in the desert is electric heaters. And this brand new unit, brand spanking new, came with a safety, this is a contactor that uh, is part of the safety chain. So it always gets 24 volts as long as these safeties are closed in here. So it holds that contactor and so high voltage could pass on to the staging contactors, which also have a safety relay going through and more safeties. The coil in this contactor is dead shorted. And now that I'm recording this, I actually see there's like a crack on the side of this. <laughs> so it's, I don't know what happened. Some gremlins came in here and smashed that and shorted the contactor coil. But if you read the coil, it's like 0.2 ohms. So dead short to the end. That is crazy. And uh, part of the safety chain that's new on here is the way they do the safety. So you have your 24 volts comes in from the transformer. Always passes through your phase monitor and your remote and your smoke and then comes back out. And then they go out another pass to the indoor blower motor. If the old belt drives had the option, it would go into the back of the motor. Otherwise, I have a jumper next to the motor. But on this, it has two, all four of these cables. Two go to the thermal overload that's inside this motor, which goes right here. You won't see this on the small Eco Blues. This is only on the larger ones. So there is a 24 volt thermal activated safety inside. So your transformer power actually passes through that. Passes through one, passes through the other. All four wires come back and they, they interconnect. The, the series pass daisy chain over here with all four wires so you gotta know that so that's how that works so there's a component to be aware of on some of these new units this is a low temperature cutout for return air so you gotta be careful changing filters or whatever not to break it i recommend uh zip tying this thing up but if the return air drops below a certain temperature i think it's you know the into the 60s this these two gray wires are basically in series you see one gray wire here in series with a low pressure switch. Oh. So if the temperature goes too cold, return. Uh, so you do start for the winter time. You're gonna have to come in and go ahead and jump these two together. Oh. And press it around. Nice to know. Look for this to be broken off if you get one DOA. Because if uh, this has a rough sh shipping and it's been bouncing, this could break. And, and if also, that breaks, it's good. It won't run. Yep. The other one to look for, sometimes you see them right here. See that one? That could break too. High pressure. No. So what that's low temperature, it's a built-in low ambient. When you unplug that and it gets really for when it's really cold, all these ECM motors go really slow. It's summertime right now, this is a trip. So that's the first thing to look for. Oh, to trip out on that. Yeah, and people always say, hey, my fans are running really slow. So pay attention for that. Yep. Nice. Look at this, this is a suicide ladder. You're going way up there and come down, and you always gotta watch, make sure you don't hit your back on this or trip on this. I don't know how someone got away with that. <laughs> Went ahead and took this one apart and it actually has a smoked coil. It's a brand new unit, smoked. Usually you get that. It might have shorted like a winding across in there, just be a defect that way. And you can tell it kind of must have heated through here. You can see it because it, it binds up. This, this plunger will not push through there. So that shape like that shouldn't be like that. Huh. And it's, it got so hot it melted through the plastic. You know, the other thing that does that, if you have a low voltage where it doesn't pull in, it'll stay at its peak current and just get hot like a heater. Oh, okay. But once these two halves, like a transformer, once it pulls that other part down into this part that's at the bottom, then you're, it'll go down to the holding current. So these are like 8 ohms, so that's going to be like, you know, almost, you know, over 2.5 amps to pull it in and then it's going to drop down to another, to a lower amps. But that's crazy. Well, I'll put it back together for warranty. <laughs>